it's Nicole on Lalif here and I'd like to present uh, my my new topic which is uh, GIS uh, softwares and first uh, I'd like to show you how the newly released QGIS works and uh, how actually to build plans with it so here's where where I am up to uh, quite difficult task actually uh, this is the town Svashtse in uh, northern Bulgaria <laughs> of course you don't know where it is but uh, I'm just mentioning and uh, we need to separate uh, the areas of different uses in the town Firstly, I've uh, located uh, these areas, which are in dark brown. They are middle height buildings, up to uh, 10 meters. Uh, from 10 meters to 15 meters, actually. And uh, everything else which is brown, like this one, is uh, low rise buildings. So, I have to join um, to correct the boundary of uh, the low-rise building area this one uh, so that it uh, catches also uh, the buildings here um, there are two ways to do it which I find the fastest uh, uh, the first is uh, to correct each node separately just by clicking uh, you can see two times I click uh, in between two, no two existing nodes and uh, it creates another so I can drag it uh, where wherever I want uh, just make sure that snapping options uh, which is here snapping options uh, the current layer is marked on so that uh, you would actually snap to vertexes or segments. Uh, in my case, the layer is called uh, str oh, down, uh, down Arrow Pro, and uh, I snap both the vertex and segments. With uh, avoid intersection, it means that any newly created feature will not overlap uh, uh, the existing uh, net of features. So, as you can see, if I come close to an existing node it just snaps there because it is of the current layer which is stru o pro that way i can create uh, a change in the boundary of uh, this feature so now i first way to do it uh, actually I need uh, to snap uh, to the roads layer not only to vertexes but also to segments which I will do now uh, you can see it is uh, this layer I need uh, vertex and segments and now uh, my task will be quite easy to make a good map of uh, Zone, zones in the town you can see when I come close to the roads feature it just uh, snaps there that way and uh, I need to uh, actually I, I want to show another feature which is uh, topological editing if I don't uh, want to move uh, the node of this feature here for instance and then the node uh, here also of the adjacent feature I have another way to do it just uh, go to snapping options settings snapping options and then uh, the layer is called zones 
as I mentioned. Where it is? Aster All Pro actually, and uh, I need to uh, mark this one Enable Topological Editing. You can see what it does in a moment. So when I select a node, which is um, the same for uh, two elements, the red and the brown element, when I move the node, it uh, uh, changes the geometry of both features. Now I will move the node here. So the red uh, feature came, became bigger, and the brown feature shrank. And uh, it is quite easy to maintain uh, the operation that way. Now I will take uh, I will show you another feature first uh, we must connect the roads here you can see uh, just select the other layer and uh, come to the node too uh, I highly encourage you by the way to configure your own shortcuts uh, for uh, for instance my shortcut for node 2 is uh, uh, just uh, the M button or uh, to be correct the double point <laughs> uh, brackets and uh, the shortcut for new feature is double point and the shortcut for node 2 is shift and double point so you can see that I didn't click it with the mouse and I can switch easily between the two tools uh, another tool which I use uh, quite often is uh, select uh, rectangle rectangular selection uh, it is quite useful uh, and if you want to save more features you can uh, click the control key uh, it's quite easy and uh, my shortcut for that is uh, the apostrophe on the keyboard so you can see now I am in a mode of uh, creating features and if I click, click apostrophe it just uh, um, makes it easy to, uh, to make rectangular selections. So now using uh, this knowledge I will just uh, press, uh, press uh, shift and uh, double point to correct uh, the road layers. I did that and now the zone layers. Yes, and this node was not necessary. And final one. Now, uh, there is uh, an easy trick here to do because uh, I don't want to uh, do the same uh, procedure for the green area. The task is simple to make uh, each node uh, be the same between the green and the boundary be shared uh, the boundary to be shared but uh, this uh, must be done either this way by creating nodes and uh, moving them which is uh, quite uh, slow if you don't have uh, strong nerves uh, or the other way is which I prefer say you want to make the green area uh, come to this boundary here so the first thing uh, you have to do is to deselect all features like this one now uh, firstly this uh, isn't all green uh, as you can see this is a building here so I have to uh, split this feature cut in it uh, a um, new feature so uh, where wherever buildings are uh, has to be red or brown so this is a red area here and I will do it this way you have to find the split feature too it is located here and now just draw where to cut the feature like this now just I have to get yes and pr uh, press uh, right mouse key and you can see now two features were created.
create it, this one and this one. I can uh, create this one to be red, modify its par its uh, attributes. So I go uh, the attribute which uh, determines how it is uh, seen on the screen is uh, this one. So I've built a word file. I need to make it this attribute. You can see I copy and paste. Now, uh, if I go back, you it will change, right? Of course. And now uh, I want this feature to cover this boundary, so there is a simple way to do it. I create new feature. And uh, intentionally overlap this feature with the existing boundary. Yes, the same uh, parameter. And because avoid intersections uh, are enabled, you can see the nodes of this uh, feature are actually right on the other. So uh, the only thing I got to do is to merge the features. It can be done with. Uh, uh, this tool, merge selected features, or my shortcut is control plus uh, double point two, right, like that. Take attributes from these features, and now we have the task achieved. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.